by spreading my wings. Hello YouTube. Lovely Black Butterfly here for another month on. If you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you to the Butterfly's Nest. But if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscription button. And then click the bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. If you're returning to this channel, welcome back. Now, if you guys have noticed, in my intro video, there is a lovely picture of a ham sandwich. And I know you guys probably were hanging there and I was like, why did you guys start playing ham sandwich on her intro? Well, that's because that's, just, that's not just some ordinary ham sandwich. That, my lovely butterfly nesters, is a croque monsieur. And what is a croque monsieur, you may ask? Um, it's a glorified bougie ham sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> In English, a croque monsieur means a Mr. Crispy. Which is a crispy ham and cheese sandwich made from made from regular ham and Gruyere cheese. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I made these lovely crook messieurs. But before we continue to the video, I'm gonna turn one of these lovely crook messieurs into a crook madame. By simply adding an over medium egg. Now, technically, a croque madame is made with a sunny side up egg. But since I don't eat sunny side up, it's always a uh, over medium. And along with my sandwiches, I have some Caesar salad. And I also have that yummy triple chocolate cheesecake that I made in my last video for dessert. So, here's the video, and then we're gonna get started on the food. So the first thing we need to do is to make a, bas a bechamel. And we're gonna start with um, adding and melting three tablespoons of butter and approximately um, three tablespoons of flour and we're going to continually whisk this so that it stays smooth and then we're going to slowly add approximately one cup of milk. You'll know that the bechamel is at the correct consistency when it sticks to the back of a spoon. We're now going to add a couple of pinches of salt, a couple of uh, splashes of black pepper. It'd be better if I had white pepper, but I don't. And then we are going to grate some fresh nutmeg, about a pinch, and then a couple of pinches of smoked paprika. And there you have your basic bechamel sauce. While we're waiting for our uh, brioche to toast in the air fryer, I'm going to make a quick Caesar salad and I'm going to start by chopping up three slices of bacon and then I'm going to chop up a head of romaine lettuce.
Now that our brioche bread has toasted in the air fryer, we're gonna finish off the salad with some salad olives, some croutons, some grated um, Parmesan, and some Caesar dressing. And I'm gonna place this into the refrigerator so it can chill um, while I make my sandwiches. Now we're gonna start off by spreading boar's head deli mustard on one half of the sandwich and then the bechamel on the other half of the sandwich. We're gonna then load some smoked gruyere, followed by sliced off the bone deli ham, followed by more smoked gruyere, Then we're gonna to top the sandwich with some more bechamel and more smoked gruyere. Then we're gonna go ahead and load this into the air fryer for about eight to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna come back with our sandwiches for our mukbang. All right, so I decided I might need some teeth to eat this with, so. Um, also, I got my new phone today. Um, I'm recording with it right now. Let me guys know if you in any way see any difference in the quality of my videos with this new phone. I'm also telling you, I'm not, I don't think I'm really quite that fond of it. It's um, the Samsung Galaxy A71. And I got it because it had all these wonderful cameras, front and back, you know, big me megapixel with the cameras and all of that. Um, and maybe I just need to learn the phone. But it seems to be a tad bit sensitive. You know, once I turn my phone on record, I'm expecting it to stay on the camera screen. I keep flipping back and forth. I don't know. I'm sure I'll get used to it. Hmm. Yeah. There is one more way this sandwich could be made. And I would have made all three for you guys. But I only had one more slice of ham. I guess I could have made it with the one slice of ham because they are pretty thick slices of ham, but anyway, the third way is to make <clears throat> Ooh. is to turn it into a Monte Cristo. Which basically you take the same 
ham and cheese sandwich and you dip it into a custard as though you're making um, French toast. And then you fry the sandwich. And that's a Monte Cristo. And while, yes, this sandwich should be crispy because I had it covered with the foil. Try to keep it warm. While I got it all set up, the bread lost some of its crispiness. Yes, the sandwich is very, very rich. With the bechamel and the smoked gouda. But it is also very, very good. Here, I give you guys a bite. And here, I'm just drinking a pineapple Fanta. I actually poured that Fanta this morning before I went to bed after I got off from work. I poured it to take my meds before I went to bed. There's no ice in it. No more ice in it. Ice melted. And I'm basically just sipping on flat soda.
I was really hungry. Well, I did eat a little breakfast this morning. Before I went to bed. It was just two eggs. And some cinnamon toast. Some cinnamon raisin cinnamon toast. And I ate that just so I have something on my stomach when I took my medicine. So that was really, really all I had to eat today until now. And it's like. I want to say it's going on midnight. I'm not real sure, but I think that's what time it is. This salad is really good. As you can tell, I'm enjoying my salad. Excuse me. I'm starting to get full now. I don't know if I got room for dessert. I'm going to try to finish this croque madame. I already know the croque monsieur. going to get wrapped up for later on. 
Probably tomorrow for breakfast. But I don't think I'm going to have room for dessert. Oh. And I almost forgot. I want to welcome my four newest subscribers. I'm not sure who they are, but my four newest subscribers has pushed me over the, the 200 subscriber mark. Yay! I am officially at 202 right now. Guys, I love you. I love all of my subscribers from the bottom of my heart. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you for supporting me, for supporting this little old lady in her YouTube journey. I'm just gonna, cause I just, I can't, I can't not eat some of this cheesecake, y'all. Mm. 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 Oh my God, that's so rich and decadent. It's a shame. Mm. I can't eat no more. Mm -mm. I already told the little girl down the street to come tomorrow and get half of that cheesecake. Now, the fresh fruit cheesecake was different, but all this rich, richness with the chocolates, mm-mm. I can't eat all this. I already told her, but I told her mama to have her come down and I would give them half of this cheesecake. Mm. It's really good. It's really, really rich. Mm. All right, my butterfly nesters and my new subscribers to my channel. I want to thank you for stopping by the butterfly's nest. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and my YouTube journey. But if you haven't subscribed, what the heck you waiting on? 
go ahead and click that subscription button. It's right down there. And then click that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below. Remember, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, lovely black butterfly spreading my wings. Yeah.